in this age, uh, uh, especially post Facebook, post Cambridge Analytica, uh, the word data kind of has a, a bad connotation to it. But every company, whether they're an SMB startup or enterprise company, uses data for non nefarious purposes. Uh, how is this data used to not just market to you, but to help improve life? Well, data is the lifeblood of your organization. Whether you're uh, a municipality like the city of New York or your uh, large organization in the consumer products or area, your requirement is to sort of move the data through the various cycles of what you have uh, in your environment and make it meaningful for the business users that need to make the right decisions on it and then make it consumable for downstream audiences with the ultimate goal of making the customer interaction better. And that seems to be what most organizations, be they municipalities or consumer products companies or whatever, uh, need to accomplish. They need to create a better experience for their users or for their citizens or patients, etc. cetera. Uh, you said some magic words there, make the right decisions. Uh, I know that when I look at data, even personal data, I can feel overwhelmed. What does make the right decision mean and how do I do that? <laughs> well, the more important aspect of making the right decision is being able to trust the underlying data. Uh, now, I know a lot of organizations that have really beautiful business intelligence type visualizations and can draw incredible charts and, and show some really interesting things with data science. But hand to heart, they don't feel overly confident about the quality of the underlying data they're using to make those decisions. So I think the key to making the right decisions is being very confident that you can trust the data that you have, that it's correctly attributed and clean and enriched in all that fashion.